Hello everyone, uh, this is a first for my channel. We're doing an unboxing video of all these products that Link ECU have sent me. Uh, I've had Link on my car since 2015, uh, so they were on my R33, now they've followed me through onto my Z4. So yeah, I've always run Link products, but for 2021, we're running the new G4X series. So we're updating my Z4, all new products, and then all my old products will be going onto my Z3 practice car. We're going to put some boost into it, so that should be good fun. I'm not so technical savvy, so Jace Clark, who builds my car, who's my crew chief for this year, he's going to come and help me explain some of the stuff and what the stuff does. I'm more of a driver, so yeah, we'll crack on and get it unboxed. Let's get him off then, Jace. Let's we'll start what... with the big one first. Let's we'll see what we got. <laughs> Ooh, hats, you like an hat? Oh, I love an hat. Yeah, mate. It's like they've sent plenty. T-shirts, snoods, link merch. Let's put them on. Look like a t-shirt, mate. Snazzy. <laughs> on brand. So yeah, let's get to uh, see what we've got. Sensors. This is all a bit more for you, Jace. Technical stuff. Yes. They? So we've got some new 1.8 BSP temp sensors, which we generally use for oil, water and air. Some adapters for the new fancy ones, which we'll see when Matt we get sensor. to it. Yep, new, the new four bar ones. Oh, these are them new combined pressure. Yeah, I've been looking forward to seeing these. So rather than having a, a separate oil and water or fuel um, pressure and temp, it's all in one sensor. So you can just use one port on your oil line or your water line and wire your temp and the pressure to it, which will save wiring time and fabricating time, which is always good. Another water temp sensor. Oh, so they're for fuel. Aren't they? Fuel and oil. No, so because we're doing both cars, we've got the combined ones for the Z4 and yeah. then we've got the individual ones for the Z3. Oh, right, cool. Next thing, two Excellent. wiring looms. Is that an A and a B <laughs> loom or is it? So it's A and B and we've got the extra long ones. So it will reach from wherever we want on car. They'll, we'll be using those on the Z3. So that's to make a new loom for the Z3? Yeah, so when we put the Thunder in the Z3, that'll give us everything we need. Next thing, can lambas. We've got Excellent. two of these. <laughs> so because we're running a V8, yep. we have one in each bank, is it? Yep, so we've got one in each bank and we can tell the ECU which bank each one's in and it'll monitor fueling for us. So what do they, is that what they do, monitor fueling? Yeah, so they'll they'll measure the, the content in the gases and let us know that we're not running too rich or too lean because that's obviously losing horsepower. We can also set it up to automatically correct the fuel. Right. So if it's a hot day or a really cold day, it'll adjust it slightly to give us the optimum. So it like kind of self-tunes a bit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you you can set the minimum and maximum, but it's it's really smart how they do it. Yeah. So that's his Lambers. This is this it. This is the beast. <laughs> this is the new Link G4X. Yes. So we're on a G4 Plus before, but we're upgrading to the G4X. Yeah, so Link have completely redone all the software. Look at that. G4X screen. Shiny. So it's it's a lot more compact than what we've been using, yeah. but it's got a ton of features. It's got much better logging functions. The navigation on the tuning software has been improved massively. And it should allow us to really fine tune the car at the track and after yeah. with the additional logging. We do a lot of data, log, like you do a lot of checking yeah. our logs, don't you? Yeah, we, I. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't really look too much at my dash and stuff. Yeah. So when I'm coming off the track, Jace always get plugs computer in, looks at my logs, make sure everything's running fine. They've got a really good log memory as well, so you can record a full weekend and then look back on it yeah. and just make sure everything's perfect. Is it 500 and? It's 512 meg. Yeah, so yeah. That is going to help a lot. Yep. When we're trackside. And that is the big box done. Excellent. Now we're on to the last box. This is a very good one. So we've got the new seven inch Link Strada dash, which does quite a few funky stuff, doesn't it, Jace? Yeah. And it is an awesome size. <laughs> yeah. I run a five inch one in the Z4 already. But this year we're upgrading to, to the seven inch one, which is a hell of a lot bigger. So this is it, the seven inch Strada Dash. 
The beast. Yeah. Like I said, I've got the five inch one in the Z4 at the minute, but we're upgrading to this one. It's uh, literally on here, it tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? The yeah. oil pressure, oil temp, it tells you what your lambas are doing, water temp, literally everything you need, what gear you're in. It's all connected to the ECU via CAN bus, so you, there's very little wiring involved and you can transmit everything the ECU knows to the dash and display it. You can display warnings, your shift lights, and I think we've got something else for it for this year, which <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to playing with. Oh, well, the, the GPS. Yeah. But the other thing that this dash does, you can set it up so if the water temps are getting too high or the oil temps, it can send a text to Jason's phone so we, while he's in the pit. So he can be on the radio saying, you know, have a minute, lad, it's, uh, <laughs> it's making. So yeah, that's a cool feature that this dash does, which we're going to set up for this year. But then the other thing with this box, it's a GPS module for the dash. So what's it do, Jace? So it's going to give us a real-time actual vehicle speed, which is amazing, really. Um, a lot of the drift cars and track cars are really stripped out, and a lot you don't have ABS sensors and things like that that you can connect up and give you a wheel speed readout, which most of the times we prefer drift cars because the real rear wheels are spinning so fast compared to the actual vehicle speed, it's not an accurate speed representation, whereas this will give us the actual speed. So this is going to be really cool to get on and get set up. The other thing that that, that little box does, it's got 2,000 racetracks worldwide on it, and it also does uh, lap times. So literally you can pull up at the racetrack, this knows you at the racetrack, and it'll log your lap times if you're racing rather than drifting, mm. which is another cool feature that it does. But we'll be able to Literally, we'll be able to look at data logging after, won't we? And we'll be able to see what yeah. entry speed I'm doing and stuff like that. So yeah. We can see what it's like in the wet versus the dry. Yeah, but like so that will help us. Uh, the main get thing the most out of you. with all this is the data that we're going to be collecting at the track. Like literally, after each run, we're going to have so much data we can go through and find out what I need to be doing to get maximised. Yeah, not only can we see what the car's doing and how to improve the car, but we can also look at how we can improve your driving as well. Yeah. So yeah, this is it. This is my full full link catalogue pretty much. So yeah, we're gonna be putting this on my car in the next couple of weeks and we will be we'll be videoing it and well I'm gonna leave my camera up here so Jace can video himself well, fitting yeah, so. it. <laughs> so yeah you'll see some vlogs with Jace fitting it and then we'll be hitting dyno and hopefully making some power. So I just want to thank Link ECU for staying on board with me. Like I said at the beginning of the video, they've been with me since 2015, so a really good company to work with. They're a great company. I've literally had zero issues with any of their products over the last six years, so I can't thank them enough for staying on board for my 2021 programme. So thank you, Link ECU.